Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today I'm going to show you how to use the tag feature on a clinical note. Uh, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new note. So I can use the default template that I've selected uh, in my uh, practitioner settings, or I can select another type of uh, template, and I'm going to use the Notero clinical note template. And we're just going to scroll to the diagram or the the diagrams that we have to select to tag. So we can hover over these thumbnails and we can show, we can select uh, multiple muscular um, images. We have as well as skin, silhouette, or we have bones. And so whatever you need to tag, uh, you do have multiple uh, selections. We're just gonna, we're gonna stick with the image that we've selected. And now I want to tag uh, the body diagram and uh, I don't want to have to click one at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into multi-tag. So I'll just click this switch. Um, you can also just hold the shift key on your keyboard and start clicking. But I'm just going to exclusively select it by switching the switch on. And I'm just going to tag areas of the body that I've either treated, they've complained of, or something that I want to mark up uh, on the body. And so I've clicked one area and maybe I'll just click these two areas for demonstration purposes. So I've added two tags. I'll click add tags. And then what it uh, does, so we'll be looking at the first area, this top right, and it's pick the right infraspinatus muscle as a suggestion. I don't have to take the suggestion. I also have other suggestions based on what my previous selections were uh, when I have tagged. And so maybe I just want the right upper shoulder so I can clear this and I can type in, start typing in uh, right shoulder and, it, and it's there in my drop down because I've already used this location. So if you add a new location that's not saved, um, it will save it to your database. And so I'm going to use the right shoulder. Uh, in the right shoulder, there's, I'm going to indicate that the person was complaining of pain. And so I'm just going to type, start typing in pain and it will make suggestions here. Um, if, is it a subject, subjective uh, um, complaint to pain or is, is it pain on palpation? So something that I've palpated objectively and I'll just say it's they complained of pain and tightness. And I can put a comment there and maybe they described it as a throbbing type of pain. So once you start adding comments, um, it will also um, suggest it uh, the next time you come around and use uh, that attribute. So I'm just going to save and continue because there's other things that I did up here. So I did some treatment up here. So I will save that. But I treated the right infraspinatus this time. So I'm still in the same location. Instead of searching, I just want to see all the attributes that I have a possibility of uh, adding. And so I know it was a, a plan or a treatment type of um, uh, attribute that I'm going to add here. And um, in this case, uh, I can just scroll down and it was a compression type technique I did. Um, and then there was no comments and then I can save and I can move on to the next position. And you can see now this next position is highlighted and I can continue a similar type of uh, selection that I did. So maybe this time I'm only gonna select the low back and again, I can view all attributes and this time I can maybe select, um, you know, something that they were saying that they felt like there was a knot up in, you know, in that, uh, in that low, up, low back area. Uh, and I'll just save and close. But as we're adding them, you can see that we add, you know, the appropriate uh, tag to the appropriate section of your soap notes. So in this case, it's in the subjective section on the right shoulder. And we've added um, that documentation um, in there for you. Okay. And uh, if I, you know, hover back over here, you can see I can select other diagrams. So if I wanted to select the head, for example, I can select the head if I want something a bit more zoomed in. So that's the tag feature. I also have the ability to draw and I'll just leave this uh, as an example so I can select draw and I have some functions where I can clear, undo or redo um, uh, certain um, um, certain drawings that I put on this image. Uh, you can select your color for example so maybe I'm going to leave it at black. Uh, maybe I'll change it over to red to maybe indicate some sort of pain and and if I'm happy with the size of the uh, of the uh, uh, the tool that I'm, I'm going to be marking up and I'll just leave it at that. So for example, maybe this indicates red and you can see that's relatively thick. So if I want to a bit uh, thicker, I can also change that and you can see that, um, you know, that's pretty bold and maybe that's too bold for you and you can just undo those. So you can mark up your diagram if you want, uh, select the size and the color and you have some 
uh, basic um, f formatting tools for the drawing feature. Um, we will also indicate, um, as you can see down here, that there's some drawing uh, attributes on this one and um, there's also some tag attributes. So when you are marking up the diagrams, we'll indicate what diagrams actually have a marking on them. So that's how you'd use the tag feature. So thank you for watching and please click subscribe if you'd like to be notified as new videos are released.